In a couple of previous videos, we've been looking at how to build the major scale. We've talked about how to build a C major scale or how to build a G major scale. So in this video, I just wanted to run you through some more examples about building the major scale. So the first point that we had to remember is we have to build our skeleton. So let's rewrite our rules here. Number one, we're going to build the skeleton. And you can see that I already built the skeletons below to save us a little time. So we're going to build our skeletons. And so what I mean by the skeleton is if I'm building A major, if I'm building an A major scale, we're just going to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. If I'm building a D major scale, then I'm going to write D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And if I'm writing an E major scale, I'm simply just going to write the notes E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And you'll notice that my skeletons are completely devoid of sharps. There's no flats. There aren't anything, uh, nothing different like that. We're just simply writing the natural notes. Now the skeleton might be a little bit different when we get to other key signatures, but for now, let's stick with the basics. So number one, we build our skeleton. Number two, we want to apply that pattern. So number two, we're going to do the whole, whole half, whole, whole, whole half thing. And so, all right, let's go ahead and get to it. So for a major, a to B, and we're going to do this together. Is A to B, is that a whole step? And yes, it is. So we'll kind of put a tick mark under here because we have three of these to do. Uh, B to C, is that a whole step? And the answer is no, but it needs to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a sharp on C. So now B to C sharp is a whole step. And now we are correct in saying that that's a whole step. Now I'm going to go from C sharp to D. So from C sharp, from C sharp to D, C sharp to D is a half step. And yes, it is C sharp to D is a half step. So that is good. The next thing we want to do is consider is D to E is D to E a whole step. And D to D E is a whole step, so that's good. Now we want to look at E to F. Is that a whole step? And E to F is not a whole step, and so what we have to do is put an F sharp. And so now we have E to F sharp, which is a whole step, which means we are now good. And let's take a look at F sharp to G. Is that a whole step? F sharp to G is also not a whole step. So we're going to put a sharp on G. And when we do that, we now recognize that that is a whole step. And so that's done. And finally, we'll ask ourselves one more question. Is G sharp to A a half step? And it turns out that it also is a half step. And so that means that our A major scale is now complete. So the A major scale in total is going to have the notes A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. Let's move on. Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's take a look at D major. And I'm going to run through these a little bit quicker. And let's see. So with D major, I'm going to ask myself the question, is D to E a whole step? Yes, it is. Is E to F a whole step? No, it's not. So let's go ahead and put a sharp on that. Is, let's see, E to F sharp. Now F sharp to G, is that a whole step? I'm sorry, is F sharp to G a half step? Is F sharp to G a half step? And it turns out that F sharp to G is a half step, so that's good. Is G to A a whole step? G to A is a whole step. Is A to B a whole step? A to B is good. Is B to C a whole step? B to C is not a whole step, so we're going to put a sharp here on C. And let's go ahead and do our last one here. And let's look at C sharp to D. Is that a half step? And it turns out that C sharp to D is a half step, so this D major scale is built properly. All right, let's go ahead and run through this last example about how to build a major scale. Let's go ahead and write down our little pattern here to help you. And I encourage you to pause this video. I encourage you to pause this and see if you can work it out for yourself. All right, so let's look at E to F. Is that a whole step? The answer is no. So we need to make it a whole step by putting a sharp on F. And we keep moving on. Is F sharp to G a whole step? And the answer is no, but we need to make it a whole step by putting a sharp on G. And is G sharp to A a half step? And the answer is yes, so we're good. Is A to B a whole step? And the answer is yes. Is B to C a whole step? And the answer is no, so we need to make it a whole step by putting a sharp on C. And let's keep moving on here. Is C sharp to D? Is C sharp to D a whole step? 
The answer is no, so we need to put a sharp on D to make it a whole step. And then finally, we have our last one is D sharp to E a half step, and the answer is yes. And so there you have it. We've properly built three major scales. We have built the A major scale, we've built the D major scale, and finally we've built the E major scale. And A major has the notes A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. D major has the notes D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and back to D. Uh, you know, I guess technically it's just D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, but D, you know, it, it just starts again. And then E major would have the notes E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and D sharp. Uh, in general, in, in a, as a rule, when we play scales, we don't just play from the starting note, we'd call this the root note. We don't play just the starting note to the seventh degree. Why is that the seventh degree? Because if I numbered these, I would end up with the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so we don't generally play from one to the seventh degree. We like to go all the way through it and play again to the root note. It has to do with resolution, uh, which is for a later video.